Merry Christmas from Texas, where everything is bigger. Uh, this image is created with a pecan image, a truck image, and a background element that I had on hand that actually is going to go in the foreground to be this grungy layer that you see here. Okay, so here are just a few steps. I crop the image of the truck to where I want it, and then I take the pecan image, isolate it, drop it in, use transform to scale it, make it super big, take the opacity down on the layer so I can see where it's at, use lasso tool, delete it. Okay, now I'm gonna take the eraser tool and I'm going to smooth out the edges with the eraser tool, a soft fuzzy eraser. Try and gradient map to get some sepia tone effect. I'm playing around, it's gonna end up being black and white, but I'm just kind of playing around. This is the background layer that I drop in, I tell it to be different. I try all different effects with this yellow background thing to give it this this texture. Um, okay, I really wanted to cover this one step. I'm leaving out a lot, but I didn't like how blown out the white back end of the truck was and the white part uh, of the house where the sun was really hitting those areas. So I'm just taking the paintbrush tool and I'm using some orange that's already in the, the image elsewhere and I'm just painting in that back end of it. I'm going to do the same thing with the top of the house. I'll just select with the eyedropper tool an area on the roof of the house in a second and select some yellow and I'll start painting that in too. I know it looks messy and you're going what the heck is she doing? It looks very messy but I'm going to use the layer effects and, and tell this layer to be multiply um, and I'm also going to apply a box blur to it and those two things and adding noise to it are going to help it all blend. I know it looks real thick and horrible right now, but it's, it's going to blend. Trust me. I know you're probably wondering, what is she doing? But um, I use, I come from an illustration background. And so I use a lot of, of painterly approaches to working with images when, you know, photographers might would go for a different tool. There's a million ways to do things in Photoshop. That's the thing you got to know. Um, and there's no right and wrong way. There's just whatever works and whatever works for you and your aesthetic. So I'm painting and painting. I know it looks horrible right now, but hang tight. I'm going to, there you go, multiply there, boom. That made it blend a little bit. Um, just kind of now I'm going to add the box blur. That's going to soften the whole thing, maybe too much. Bring it down, get it where you want it. Um, and the whole image had been given noise because I wanted it to have that grungy, noisy, filmy kind of look to it. And so, you know, I'll try to give these painted areas the same level of noise as the rest of the image. And when the whole thing goes black and white, it's all going to blend uh, pretty darn well, I think. <laughs> 